Hi, thanks, Kelly. Um, two quick questions. The first is, Kellyanne Conway, sorry for my voice being a little scratchy, but no worries. Kellyanne Conway th said, the more chaos and anarchy and violence reign, the better it is for the very clear choice of who's best on public safety and law and order. Does this president, is he rooting for more violence for the political be benefit? That's what Kellyanne Conway's quote is, is, is suggesting Democrats say that the president thinks violence works in his political favor. Absolutely not. Um, he is not rooting for more violence in the slightest. Um, and in fact, you know, I would note that under his administration, we saw violent crime nationwide decrease in both 2017 and 2018 after rising during each of the two previous years. Um, we're encouraged that Operation Legend is working. Um, in Kansas City, violence has been cut by a third. Um, in Indianapolis, we've gotten 49 guns off the streets in two weeks that were related to gun violence. Um, and Port helps make his case for re-election? No one wants to see the violence that we've seen in our cities, where after two years of coming down under President Trump in Portland, you have a 650 percent increase in murders. In Seattle, um, you you had um, the first eight-month totals of murders almost surpassing the entire amount in 2019. And this is because of the defund the police movement. This is because of the criticism of our police officers and the drawing down of funds uh, for these officers. No one wants to see this, uh, which is why the president is fighting against that movement. Movement, and it's why he's fighting for a robust Operation Legend response that's proved successful so far. Mm -hmm. Why has the president just said Americans shouldn't be taking their own weapons to try to protect the buildings and condemning the idea of people kind of deputizing themselves? Is it, or maybe the or, and does this White House believe that White House, that, that citizens should stop showing up to cities, especially the ones they don't live in? to have guns to protect buildings? This White House believes our police should be fully funded. We should have more police rather than less. We shouldn't criticize our police because it is our police officers who are responsible uh, for taking to the streets and protecting us. And when they're called cancers by Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, when they're compared to uh, the KKK by a current sitting vice presidential candidate, um, it's appalling. It's despicable. We need to fund our police officers because they should be the ones out patrolling the streets. Yes, Chanel. No. Thank you, Kaylee. Uh, what is the president's position on victims, families, businesses uh, as a result of these riots suing Democrat-run cities? Would he support them if they were to band together and do so? Um, I haven't spoken to him about that specifically, um, but certainly what you're seeing is it is Democrat cities uh, where you're seeing um, all of these numbers increase. When you look at, I just noted to Yamish, Portland, um, Seattle, Philadelphia, Minneapolis, Chicago, New York City, these have all seen anywhere from a 33 percent spike in the murder rate to a 277 percent increase um, in one month alone in New York City. It's appalling. And it is Democrat governors and mayors and lawlessness that they're allowing to prevail. Uh, when federal forces come in, the city situation changes. And it's so interesting to me uh, to see Democrats um, who once disparaged, who ignored the violence, I should say, all of a sudden caring about it. But let's not forget um, what they said previously. Speaker Nancy Pelosi downplaying the violence rocking U.S. cities, ignorantly saying people will do what they do. Uh, Jerry Nadler, when asked about Antifa, he said that that was a myth that's being spread around Washington, D.C. It's not a myth. In fact, an Antifa individual took the life of an innocent Trump supporter in Portland. Um, you have Rep. Ayanna Ion, Ion, Presley saying that she wanted unrest in the streets. Chris Cuomo saying, show me where it says protesters are supposed to be peaceful. I'll give you an idea, Chris. It's the Constitution. Don Lemon saying, quote, the rioting has to stop, Chris, as you know, and I know. It's showing up in the polls. It's showing up in the focus groups. It's the only thing right now that's sticking. So now, all of a sudden, 90 days later, I, from this podium, have talked about law and order. The president has talked about law and order repeatedly. But because the polling has shifted, um, now it's time for the Democrats to deny what they said previously and all of a sudden focus on law and order. Um, I'll leave you with this. That's like the arsonist blaming the firefighter.